I've been doing this for about 40 years, and I'm more proud to be in this movie than I have been in in in, in 40 years. This is a uh, to me one of the, one of the favorite experiences of my life. She tells them that the husband came home and he was already stabbed, but then the cops tell her that Vikram is still alive, and he told everyone about the game and the stabbings, and now. He's defending her in court, saying that she has bipolar disorder, and it's not her fault. One of the reasons I took the movie is because it relates directly to my experience as a father. Um, I have teenage daughters, and they've been through periods of anxiety in their lives. My wife's sister died of a drug overdose. It involves mental illness, it involves teen angst, it involves suicide, and it also involves grunge rock. It's got balls, this movie, and it talks about real things. It moved me in places that I never expected to be moved. So I'm just really, really happy to be in this movie.